Hey guys, I'm here with a new type of bracelet that I came up with on my own. It's my very own special design. It's called a Razorback and it looks something like this. It's kind of thick, as you can see there. Um, and yeah, it's my own bracelet I made. And what you'll need for this, oh, and by the way, this is part one of a two-part bracelet making series, I don't know, it's a series, I guess, whatever, but anyways, you'll need a pair of scissors, I've got here, um, you need a buckle, I'm using a 5 8 inch, you'll need, like, 25 feet of cord, which I have a little bit more than that here, um, and you'll need your jig, and that's about it for right now. Um, actually, I don't, guess you don't need your scissors until later on, but um, you, like, anyway, you stick your buckle in, um, and then take your cord, stick it through one side, and then make your starting knot. Um, I usually do it with a little bit of one color sticking out, I guess. I don't know, not sticking out, but with it kind of, oh wait, what am I doing? It's up here. With it up here so that you can go over it and it won't be visible and it makes the bracelet more secure and see it's right here anyways once you get that done you take your cord and stick it up through the top loop or the front loop up here if you can and then Stick your other one through. Come on. There we go. And pull it tight. Cool. Just like that. And then you take your other cord, untangle it, because it's obviously tangled, like mine. <laughs> and then. Oh, come here. Come here, you. Stick it through down here. I always do this with the same colors touching, like or the inside colors touching, which is going to be the red here. And just do the same thing you did for the first set of cord. Stick it, or make your knot here. Bring the or have the cord up. Oh wait, that's right. It's back here. And if your melting is kind of out, take your scissors and cut that. And then hopefully this time you can get it through or not. I don't know. Oh, yep, there it goes. Anyway, same colors on the same side. And then stick it through the top, not top, the other buckle. Same colors touching. And then if your cord was nice to you, it would go in there real quickly and easily, but mine isn't being nice, so it's not going in there. There we go. There's one. And... Come on there. There's two. 
All right. Hopefully it's not twisted. Oh, no, it didn't. That's good. All right. Um, don't have it set this close because that would make a tiny bracelet. Um, and yeah. Now we are ready to get started. So I came about this um, bracelet type when I was making a... We were trying to make a double cobra bracelet and completely screwed it up. So, yeah. Um, anyways, you take your first on the left and your third cord and do a, um, whatever, make a knot, and then your second and your last cord on the right, and make a knot, and then do it again, but switching, I guess. Or switching the pattern, whatever. So that you get your whatever, I don't know. What am I what am I saying? You get the better pattern, or the pattern you're looking for. Instead of a twisty thing. So left, under, and then the right, over. down and then left under right through and over and through and then left under or right under sorry and left over and through or under and over and through and whatever and all that and then yeah do it again I was going to say push it up, but not in the middle of a weave. Now you can push it up, and it's alright. And then start again with your left and your right. And you do this a bunch of times until you get to the bottom. And then, yeah, then you finish it off and have a really cool bracelet. And I will see you there.